morning guys and I just wanted to say I just edited yesterday's daily vlog and holy cow oh so, yeah yesterday is exactly why I stopped taking fibromyalgia medication um, and I'm not saying that's for everyone or that has that same effect on everyone but I become a zombie honestly I I have smoked some marijuana in my day medical marijuana mind you the oils um, is mostly what I use for pain. Smoking it doesn't really help, although I have smoked when I didn't have oils because it's hard to get a hold of the oils. Um, and this is long before I started trying to conceive. That is often how I was managing my fibro um, issues. And the thing is, it's really sad that it's such like heavy duty narcotics that the doctors give you to manage your pain cannot touch fibro in a way that a natural thing from the earth can um and some of you might agree and not agree and that's fine we're all different uh i kind of treat it like i would if i take a pain medication when i took my pain medication yesterday i wouldn't have driven like that no way i but i never honestly on any of the um cannabis oils or med medicinal marijuana i've ever taken have i been like that yesterday was exactly why I stopped taking medications and it's hard to live like that for a long time I had to live like that and I just lived in bed and while it takes away some of the pain it doesn't take it all away and it's just not a life worth living for me when it was like that so I I, I can't I like everything we recorded yesterday for you guys I'm gonna have to re-record because it was so bad like when I went back and watched it it was so bad it was not like something I would put out there of course I'm not embarrassed to put out my daily vlog from yesterday like while I am a hot mess in that vlog it's the honest to god like truth that's living with fibro sometimes you have to take so many medications just to stop the pain which I didn't even take so many I took one I think and then you turn into that and it's just like Wow. So yeah, um, I would never put out sit down videos in that state. So we will be re-recording that. I am mortified enough about my daily vlog yesterday. But then again, those of you guys that don't know a lot about fibromyalgia and those of you that kind of do that don't understand why I don't take my medications. There you go. I for me, I'd rather be in pain than spend my life walking around like that. So, like I said though, it's it's so crazy to me that in this day and age, something that's natural from the earth, that they could be, that they could, you know, use it like alcohol and make regulations and restrictions and stuff, and is a great thing to help with pain. And there's, there's um, ways to remove the high effect from marijuana and put it in a pill form where you're just getting the cannabis oil and the good effects from that. But because like currently our state doesn't approve of that, there's no way to get it. So it's just, it's a, that's a whole nother vlog rant thing. Um, but like I said, that just shows you the doctor's medications. That is why I don't take them. I don't feel like I can live my life to the fullest. Um, you know, maybe one day, my pain gets unbearable and stuff, then I might have to live like that unless I can, I don't know. I just, uh, I lived my life for like that for so long, just like in pain, drugged up and miserable and depressed. I don't ever want to go back to it. So yeah, that's that. I just wanted to talk about that because y'all are probably like, is she high? yesterday I was on medications for my doctors and it's funny because I could go take um the cannabis oil I have level well, actually it's really old so I probably shouldn't but I don't know if that expires because I haven't used it since we started trying to conceive but if I went and took that now I would be like I am right now I wouldn't be like oh Ugh. whereas taking something from the doctor makes me like that so it's just Ugh, it's a sore subject. It bothers me so much that we don't have more resources um, for fibromyalgia or options other than, well, here's a bunch of drugs that make you feel like a zombie. So, 
you're just being crazy. Oh, I didn't show you guys. I wanted to show you guys my chair. I cleaned it up. What I did was I used a vinegar solution because it's like a, it's like a, it's not leather. It's like a, it's, it's like a vinyl or a pleather, but I used vinegar and I got everything off. And then at, right after I put the vinegar on, because it's like very acidy, I went back over it with water, but I think I got everything off and this is a chair I wanted. It was just fate that we went to the store and it's kind of funny now, now that I think about when we came home yesterday, we turned my chair, my plastic chair upside down that had the shell. And this is what I was talking about. It has these kind of legs. Um, so they don't make those legs anymore. And when we looked at the bottom, Justin's like, this isn't how the bottom of your chair is. It's not how your chair is. So I was like, oh man, so we couldn't get the $6 shell. If we had realized that it was, because now that we came home and actually looked like it, it was. If we had realized that, we would have got the plastic shell and I never would have gone to scratch and dent. And I never would have found the chair I've been wanting, but we couldn't afford for like 90% off. Um, so yeah, that was awesome. I feel like that was a positive thing that I'm grateful for that happened. But so pretty much this is, oh my gosh, I've never looked at the bottom of this chair. It's been moved so many times, but um, so I think now that we know we can replace that, um, next time we get paid, we're gonna go take $6, go back to Ikea, get a new shell so that my sewing table has a chair too. I thought that was cool. Hey guys, so it's later in the day. Well, I mean, it's like a few hours later and um, I started working on my cork board again. Justin had these and I'm gonna try these, but I have a feeling they're not gonna work because they're too short, So, I'm, but I'm gonna try it. If they don't work, I'm actually probably going to staple. Yeah, see, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll get there when I get there, but I'm hoping they work. We'll see. Um, I th my other thought is I can staple the corners and then find something at the craft store, like buttons or something to like cover the staples that are cute and pretty, but still match. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I feel like I can't win today. I just can't. Okay. So I ran out of staples stapling these behind the back, but these pins we found that we thought we would work are fine. Then they pop up. So my thought is I'm going to staple at the crisscross and then buy something like cheap at the fabric store, like a little button or something to place over all the staples just with hot glue. Then I ran out of staples. Ugh, I have a bunch of coupons to Michael's or if Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Um, let me see if they're still good. I just don't know what I would put there. Part of me is like, just go sit it back down where it was and forget it. But, and then another part of me is like, I've been working this thing for like two weeks and I, something keeps going wrong with it. I just want it to be done so I can hang it. Anyway, maybe I can find little like plastic roses or like cute buttons to put right there. But that's, you guys get the idea. And the top and the sides are already done. Oh yeah. And then I got to find staples for this. Uh, I don't know what kind of, oh, it says what kind of staples I need. Wear eye protection. I'm not doing that. Well, maybe I'll just wait till Justin gets home tonight so he can make sure I buy, I can, I buy the right staples because I'm, I don't know if they sell these at the craft store. I just don't know and I don't want to, it's like rainy, I don't want to drive. I feel like I'm being really depressed. And that's why I don't want to drive anywhere, and maybe I should. I think I'm sleeping here. It's perfectly good bed in the other room. But it doesn't look comfortable, Ralph. Um, I don't know. Ugh, I don't have to figure out what I'm going to do. This is frustrating. I'm at Walmart. I hate Walmart so much. At least mine. People are looking at me crazy. I don't even care. That's what people say. Mm -hmm. I found it. This song is so annoyingly addictive. Okay, I am finally done. So I bought more staples and then I found, this is what I found at, at Walmart. They're little rosebuds. I don't know. I found them in the sewing section. So I stapled the crosshairs and I, um, 
Oh, super glue. I super, super glued. I hot glued the little roses on. I think it looks pretty cute. What do you guys think? Does it look cute? I think it looks cute. Um, okay, I finally finished that project. Yay, after all this time. Now I have to clean up. That's the worst part of doing a project. Yeah. Okay, so I'm making black bean burgers. And this is what the burger is actually made of. It's vegetarian. I have to shape the patties and crumb them and fry them once Justin gets home. But I'm not gonna do it now because we have to wait till he's home. Let's see you eat it. You wanna see me eat it? I wanna see you. This is your first time having this kind of veggie burger. Is it still hot? Real good. It's better than that frozen veggie burger, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> I forgot the sweet potato fries, guys. They're in the fridge baking now. That's good? What's wrong? Oh, you're sad. I'm, he, at least you're still getting them. This is a lot of work to make a burger out of nothing. It's not meat. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm calling it a night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.